This is a copper, six inch copper plate as I get it from the manufacturer. And that's what we're going to be working on with the enamel. I've treated it, put it in the kill briefly, uh, long enough to burn off any grease from my fingerprints or any grease from the manufacturing process. So you start with a, a cleaned piece of copper like that. You can see that it has changed the color slightly. If you look around in the background here, you can see all kinds of jars of colors, different colors. The, those are all the enamels. Um, and they're all, there's a whole array of colors that are possible. Some you only need small quantities, some large quantities. So for this particular plate, I'm going to start with a dark turquoise. The two examples that we started with, you had one piece that started with a darker colors and then you built lighter colors up on top of it and then put an overall light color to in the background. Uh, the oval piece had lighter colors in the base and then a darker color around it. So you, you can go either way. I'm going to start with a, with a, a strong color, a, a really strong dark turquoise, and then have some lighter colors with it. So uh, this is a technique that, that I've used my whole enameling life. Um, I have a glue solution in this jar, dip a brush in it, and then you can make a design Just do something a little different from what's over there with that brush. And you sift the enamel over it. You notice that I had the sieve full of enamel first, so I started with the enamel ready to, to go because as that liquid sat, it would begin to, to spread out, and it has already done that a little bit. Uh, you can then go back and clean that up as much as you want. Um, I think for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just let it go the way it is, pretty much. And actually, that is now ready to fire.